right, according to 97 won a ticket in the Michigan Insider. Juwan Howard will be interviewing Tuesday with the athletic director for the vacant University of Michigan head coaching job for the basketball team. So let's talk about it. We back Murder City Sports Talk. We in the building. Appreciate all the love and support. Everybody just give it a man. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button if you haven't and share the video. But um this is the guy I want to get the job. I've seen people on posts saying, oh, no, hires like this never work. What the fuck about uh, Penny Hardaway in Memphis? He got the number one overall recruiting um, uh, recruits coming in next year. Number one guy, he got two five stars, a four star, um, you know, Boogie Ellis out in California. So, you know, now you got Jerry Stackhouse in Vanderbilt. You had Kevin Ali who had some success at UConn. I don't know exactly what happened up there with that. Also, you got uh, Patrick Ewing that's trying to bring back uh georgetown so why not give it a chance man they just so against uh giving ball players former ball players a chance you know what i'm saying I, I just never understood that man you got a whole bunch of uh uh guys in the in the uh in these sports especially in the nba where they want to give a guy from overseas you know a chance the guy from sacramento who don't know shit i think he coached in memphis the phoenix coach who didn't know shit he got fired they give him guys from overseas a shot before they they get they get players who actually built the foundation of this league a shot, and I understand that you know you know a lot of times players don't really work out you know as coaches, but for whatever reason Scott Brooks got a chance and all these other chance these dudes get these chances the Van Gundys and shit, but they don't want to never give like Patrick Ewing they don't want to give the brothers a chance, especially former brothers man it's a black man's league because I don't understand why you know the NFL and the NBA don't have more black coaches, but now you have the pipeline of former NBA coaches going to high school and now they working their way up to college and he Juwan Howard was assistant for the Miami Heat and he was supposed to be in talks for the Laker job but it didn't happen but at the end of the day I just don't really understand I mean I have never heard a bad thing said about Juwan Howard I've you know nothing but great things Stan Van Gunny said I never heard a bad thing said about him he learned under Pat Riley and Eric Spolstra uh like I said before Jalen Rose endorsed him he recruited the Fab Five the first one to sign his letter of an intent. And I'll link that 97.1 article in the description once again. If I didn't say it before. Why not? Why not? It's a new trend. Stackhouse Vanderbilt. I know he didn't go there. Memphis. Uh, used to be Memphis State. When Penny Hardaway went there, he there. Georgetown. Patrick Ewing. It's going to take time to build these programs up. But once you go ahead and go follow follow the code, man. Get this guy a shot at Michigan. It'll be great. He got cachet. He a Michigan man, so that shouldn't be no, it shouldn't be no Rich Rodriguez issue. Get this dude a shot, okay? Uh, they won't give him a shot in the NBA. How about Michigan do something the right thing? I know Michigan got a little bit of history of racism, as a lot of other places do. Get this dude a shot, okay? And see if it work out, okay? It can't be no worse than Tommy Amaker. You're not going to bring Steve Fisher back, right? <laughs> so get this dude a shot. Even Chris Webber's endorsing him. Jimmy King is endorsing him. Let this dude go here and do well. He didn't do nothing wrong. He wasn't wow. He didn't do that Ed Martin ish that Rose and Chris Weber did. Okay, and he been learning in Miami. And, and the thing about getting high level recruits is that they want to make it to the NBA. Jawan Howard, I believe, was the first guy in the NBA to have a hundred million dollar contract. You know what I'm saying? Jawan Howard is an animal. You know what I'm saying on the block. Juwan Howard knows what it takes to make it to the next level. He's been around LeBron. He's been around Wade. He's been around Morney. He's been around, you know, Bosch. He's been around Pat Riley. He's been around Eric Spoelstra, who I think is a really good coach. You feel, you feel me? So why not? People, oh, no, don't hire. He's not the right Howard. Hire Carl Shaka Smart and fuck that. Keep it in-house. Keep it in Michigan. Let's give Juwan Howard a try. If it don't work, hey, press the reset button. We start over again. If he got the intellect and he got the back, the uh the basketball IQ, which I know he do, may it is just a no brainer for me. Unless he prices himself out. But I mean impeccable background, impeccable character. Guy people don't have nothing bad to say about him. He recruited the majority of the five fab five. So he can recruit uh he was Chicago. He can recruit the state of Michigan. His son played at uh at U U D. He can, he can recruit all through here. It just makes too much sense not to get right. But uh, we'll see where Michigan head at. Let me know what y'all guys think about Juwan Howard going to the University of Michigan and being the head basketball coach. Not none of these Sparties or these whole state fans, man, for real. Let's keep it all Michigan positive, man. But, hey, it's more to see sports talk. Appreciate the love and support, man. I linked that 97 one point uh, ticket article in the description so you can read it. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or a video request. We gone.